So hey guys, I wanted to go over a comment I made the other day in a video I made about preamps. I reviewed a few preamps and one of the preamps I reviewed was on the Focusrite Scarlet uh, Solo 3rd Gen. I, I just got it in the mail that day and I wanted to review it while I did uh, a video for it. And I made a comment about how it was pretty awesome that the volume in the device would go up beyond 100% essentially. So previous versions of the Focusrite Scarlet had a complaint where the volume was very quiet. Uh, so when you record with the microphone, the volume was very low. And this third gen, the driver seemed to allow me to go beyond 100% essentially. The 50% was like 100% and the 100% was like 200%. And I thought that was a very cool feature to have in the driver because normally people go and they, have, they buy a cloud lifter or some hardware device to amplify the output. Having it in software makes a lot of sense though. So uh, I might have spoke too soon though because as I've tried the Focusrite on different computers, I've noticed that when I install the official Focusrite driver from their website, the functionality disappears. Uh, so I, I wanted to correct myself there a little bit and point out that it seems to actually maybe be a glitch in the Windows-based driver uh, that comes default with Windows 10 when you plug in the Focusrite. Uh, so in this video I'm going to demonstrate that and I'm also going to showcase you um, well, how, how I got it working I guess. Uh, or at least how you can get it working. Okay, so I, um, right now I have the gain on full here. And I'm just going to switch over to Audacity here in the top corner. And I'm going to hit record. And here's the mic, the, the Shure SM7B. And I'm just going to speak into it. And it's peaking around like negative 12, negative 18. Which is roughly what you'd expect for this preamp. Um... Now, I'm going to show you the little trick, and that is in the bottom right here, there's a little speaker icon. You right click that with your mouse or whatever, and you go to open sound settings. Open sound settings. Now, in the top right, there's a sound control panel. We click that, and we get this little menu popping up. There's a bunch of tabs here. Um, we are going to click on the tab that says recording at the top. And then we're going to scroll down to our microphone. This is the Scarlett Solo USB. We're going to right click that and properties. Now under properties, there's a tab called levels. We go to that and you will see that we're at level 50 right in the center. Now the microphone's right here and I'm just going to show you that as I increase the gain, increasing the gain, increasing the gain, increasing the gain, increasing the gain, increase the gain you know essentially skyrockets it's super super loud right now and i can play with the gain and i can lower it down to like 80 uh maybe this like this and now i'm now i'm able to speak at well that's even too loud um let's say 63 now i'm able to speak at a relatively you know high signal uh, output like this is a good signal for a mic and the Focusrite has a pretty decent signal to noise ratio. So, hey, that's awesome. However, when I install the Focusrite official drivers, uh, that 50% to 100% zone kind of disappeared. The 100% was now the 50% and it was very quiet. Um, yeah. Uh, so, I, you know, I can just leave that. And then I can go to this little knobby thing and I can lower the volume, lower the volume. So now I can still use this, you know, physical button to change the volume. And I have like the max volume set to where I want. Um, and I thought that was so cool. You know, like I, I, I thought that was just great. But it turns out that might not be an official feature. And if that's the case, I am begging Focusrite 
do something about that. Um, my suggestion would be in the sound settings here, you click on properties and it opens up here and you go to an advanced button and you should have a big check mark at the bottom saying like right here it should say plus 25 db right you should be able to check that and it should automatically add a 25 decibel software boost to the signal output just that's like such a no-brainer um you know why not you, you also have the focus right control software you can add it to that this way someone can just kind of boost the signal and you know not gonna have a quiet output if they want to be even um you know even more advanced uh, i think people would absolutely kill for a, a limiter or a compressor as a, as a software function like a, a limiter so if someone speaks too loud it doesn't crackle and pop and cut out um or a compressor people are buying very expensive hardware to get that compressor function or maybe add a noise filter just add something into the driver that saves people a shit ton of money they don't have to go out and buy all these hardware devices to achieve the function that it could be in the software driver anyways that's my strong suggestion to focus right um, if you do have this windows driver uh, i'll show you the version properties properties the version number of driver is here 10.0.1836 2.206 um you know it, it's, it's it's recent it's 2019 um if you have already installed the focus right driver for the official one what you can do is you can go to uh uninstall in windows and you can look for the focus right usb driver and you can uninstall that once you uninstall that driver reset the computer and it should go back to using this default windows one Maybe do a Windows update, um, just so that it makes sure that you have it, um, and then get do and then you know do what I tried. Load up Audacity, hit record, open up the properties page here, go to levels and start playing with the microphone and start playing with the dial on your uh, hardware device and see if if it works. Once you figure out that it is working for you and you can set the gain to like 60, like I did, you know. Um, you might have just saved yourself like 200 bucks on a cloud lifter. So uh, just something to consider. Anyways, um, that's all I wanted to touch on, guys. I I don't know if yet if I should take my video down I wrote the other day or if I should just append this video in some way. Because it doesn't seem to be a, an officially supported feature of the focus right. Um, but it does work. So, you know, I plugged it in and it worked. It's only, it only broke when I installed the official driver. So, uh, you know, I, I, I don't quite know, guys. Um, who knows? I'm really hoping Focusrite listens. I think the features, the features I asked for are very, very valuable. And I would strongly recommend the Focusrite to everyone if those features were there. Um, anyways, that's it, guys. I appreciate your viewership.